We welcome you in the name of the Almighty God to the 12th of our Lenten Diet in the Anglican Diocese of Lagos. Today is March 10, 2020. Our general theme is Kingdom Manifestation and our topic for this study is Manifestation of the Kingdom Abounding in Good Works. Our texts are 2 Corinthians 9, 8, 1 Corinthians 15, 58, Galatians 6, 9. Now, 2 Corinthians 9, 8 says, And God is able to give you all grace in full measure, so that ever having enough of all things, you may be full of every good work. 1 Corinthians 15, 58, For this cause, my dear brothers, be strong in purpose, aim, goal, target, and unmoved, ever given yourself to the work of God, because you are certain that your work is not without effect in the Lord. And Galatians 6, 9 says, So we must not get tired of doing good, for we will reap at the proper time if we don't give up. From the topic, we see that the word abounding is a present participle tense of the word abound, suggestive of being wealthy, rich to overflowing in abundance. Christianity, being a way of life, reflects the physical demonstration of the acts of God according to the measure of the grace available to the individual, the Christian at this time. Paul in Ephesians 2.10 stated that the purpose of our new creation and being is for good works. It is worthy to note at this point that 1. No good work can be done or performed until we are born anew. That is created in Christ Jesus for good works. As we see in Ephesians 2.10b. We are not saved by the works rather we are saved by grace for good works Ephesians 2 8 works alone do not justify any man rather the justified man works as we see in Galatians 5 22 to 25 it has become necessary to clarify these facts so that we know that there is indeed no substitute for being born anew which is a prerequisite for being enlisted in the kingdom citizenship. If we are to manifest the kingdom, being born anew is a sine qua non, and abounding in good works is our divine heritage. What then does abounding in good works entail? Abounding in good works entail being rich to overflowing in good works. As you can see, in 2 Corinthians 9, 8. Good works are those works done physically by the grace of God and in obedience to Him for the benefit of others as led by the Holy Spirit to the glory of God. Ephesians 2, 10. Matthew 5, 16 highlights this. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. They are the works done in accordance with the will of God. As you can see in Matthew 7, 21 to 23, 1 John 2, 17. Any work done outside the will of God is not good work. The good works include, among others, soul winning, Proverbs 11, 30b says he that wins her soul is wise arms given as you can see in acts 10 2 and 4b charitable acts james 1 27 these are acts of love and mercy supporting the work of god through giving this comes in the form of offerings tithes free will donations etc the hymnologist Christopher Wordsworth, 1807-1885, said, and I quote, We lose what on ourselves we spend. We have a treasure without end. Whatever, Lord, to thee we give. Serving God with our gifts 
talents and endowments etc are all good works as you can see in matthew 25 14 to 20. obstacles or distractions to abounding in good works basically emanates from cares of this world and fleshly desires st paul made it clear in galatians 5 19 these include adultery fornication uncleanness lewdness idolatry sorcery hatred contentions jealousies outbursts of wrath self-ambitions dissensions heresies envy drunkenness reveries etc beloved in christ doing good has a reward but abounding in good works has a greater reward these rewards include imperishable crown as we see in first corinthians 9 25b crown of righteousness second timothy 4 8 crown of life james 1 12 revelations 2 10 crown of glory enjoy peace both here and hereafter proverbs 16 7 dear brothers and sisters there is no contradiction to the fact that abounding in good works is what God highly expects from his children, as well as expressed in the Beatitudes. However, the devil wants to rob us of our eternal rewards for abounding in good works. But God has sent his son into the world to boost our morale in our quest for the reward. As children of God, we need to resolve and be determined to abide by the will of God for us. 1 Corinthians 15:58 and give the devil no foothold so as not to lose our eternal reward in the name of Jesus Christ. Manifestation of kingdom and abounding in good works go pari passu. Therefore, let us not get tired of doing good for we will reap at the proper time if we don't give up. Galatians 6, 9. As we journey through this Lenten season, let us firmly resolve to return to the purpose of our being and manifest this kingdom as full citizens. In the name of God, the Father, and our Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for your time with us today on Lenten Diet 2020. Please take time to join us daily between the hours of 5 p.m and 6 p.m. in our expansive study of the scriptures in any of the parishes or the diocese of Lagos. Just go to nearest one to you to be part of this great blessing. Kindly like and share this video and others in the series. You can follow us on our social platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Diocese of Lagos. On Twitter at Lagos Ang diocese please subscribe to the channel lagoon tv also hit the bell in front of the subscribe button to get notification anytime a new video is posted on behalf of the lord bishop and missioner of the diocese of lagos the right reverend dr humphrey bamishi biolumakaye i the venerable chijoke gebra lezaya from saint peter's anglican church ulodi apapa Lagos. Thank you. Have a blessed day.